Hi guys, it's Tracy Morrow here. We're going to talk about the, the free printables that are available on my website. If you go to tracymoreau.net, click on the shop, go to the menu on the left hand side of the page and scroll down to the bottom, you'll find free printables available. We've got all kinds of different ones, but the one we're going to tackle today is um, oh, among my favorites and very popular right now. It is Sunflower. Um, I love this printable because I'm, I'm enamored with bumblebees and I love sunflowers to start with. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to paint sunflowers. This one is super simple. My base color for this one is true blue. I have this beautiful, brilliant blue for my background. The sunflower is base coated with sunny day. The center is base coated with ashfaltum and the leaves are base coated with antique green. Now this is a super easy way to paint these little sunflowers. I love them. They're bright, they're sunny, and they're fun, but uh, they are very easy to paint. So we're going to start with the leaves. I like to take care of the leaves first. So, as I said, our base color for these leaves is antique green from the Decor lineup, and we're going to shade it with Plantation High, which is this green. This is a super dark, nice transparent green. It's ideal for our shading in this particular case. And the shading is simple. I'm going to float up against the edges of the petals with that plantation pine so that it gives us a nice dark shadow underneath that floral and I'm going to dry that and then we're going to put a nice shadow down the center vein of that leaf just to give it some nice shape. We'll just take a second for it to dry. There we go. So I'm going to come here and nice shadow Right down to the point gives us a nice deep shadow there and on these two small leaves on the end I'm going to put a little shadow just at the base of the leaf where it joins the stem like so nothing too fancy now I'm going to dry that now, my highlight color for this one, I'm using Margarita Green, which is this beautiful citron uh, green. It's a wonderful color for this. We're going to use that as our highlight color on these leaves. I like this because it's a little opaque, but not too opaque. It's a great color for this. And again, I don't use a lot of paint and I blend it out well, so we're going to come out to the edge of our leaf here and I put a very choppy float. I want this leaf to sort of have a serrated effect so I'm not being too neat and tidy with it and I'm going to do the same on the outside edge of the leaf as well just to sort of create that serrated look and then we're going to float right up that center vein with our green. So we have a nice little highlight there and I'm going to take that same color out to the points of the leaves just a little bit. Gives the leaf a nice little highlight out there. I'm going to zoom this in just a touch. Oops, there we go. All right, so we're zoomed in a little bit. So we've got a nice highlight on this leaf. I'm gonna brighten it a little bit. I think it needs a little brightening. And then I'll get that a little chop too. There we go. So now at that sunflower. In the center of that sunflower, I'm going to put a little bit of lamp black because I want to have a nice little bowl in the center of that flower, like so. And I'm gonna put a little shadow at the bottom of this as well, right there. So I have a little shadow and I will dry that real quick.
doesn't take long, too long to dry. And then I'm going to add a highlight to the center as well, but I want it to have a little bit of texture. So I'm going to use a little of that yellow, that same yellow that we used for the petals. I'm going to use a little bit, but thin it out quite a bit on my brush. And I'm going to put a little float, little choppy float, right at the edge of that shadow. And then I'm going to come in just from the edge of my sunflower, just like that, and put a very loose, choppy little wash of color in, just to create a little texture. And now we're going to start creating some texture in these petals. So I have a base coat of sunny day on my flowers and I'm going to shade them with a rather in your face color. I'm using orange flame for this. We're going to use that. It's a nice transparent orange so we'll be able to get a nice thin color out of it. So lots of water, tiny bit of paint, well blended because I don't want this to be an orange flower. Now on the inside of these petals right in the center, we're going to put a U-shaped float like that. And it's starting about an eighth of an inch in from the edge of the petal. And it's going to form sort of a U-shape. This is going to give these petals a, a, like a bowl or cup-like feeling when we're finished. And then we're going to, there is a petal here, so we're going to go around it a little bit because this petal has just half of a U inside it. And then there's this petal here. Now, if you don't feel they're quite dark enough, don't be afraid to go over that float, give it another float. Mine were just a little too, too light, I think. So I've got that shading in. So now I want to separate those back petals. So I want to put a shadow in here to separate. And all this does is it lifts these forward petals off of the ones in the back. And it gives these a really nice shape. There we go. And one more. Now I'm going to dry this and then we're going to put a little center vein in those back petals just to give it a little more dimension. And I like this part because it gives the petals, those back petals a bit of a curve. So we have the petals towards the center of the flower are cupping like this, and then the ones in the back are curving over the other way. So I'm going to put my little float of orange in like so, just to create that center vein. So it creates a nice shape right off the bat. So, going to dry this and then I have a really fun way of making these sunflowers really pop and it's so simple. We're going to use a color called saffron which is this orangey yellow. I love this yellow. It's a, like a true school bus yellow. It's such a great vibrant yellow. It's also a little on the transparent side. So we're going to make a nice little wash of that I'm just going to use a little filbert for this. And you thin this out with just with water. And you're going to put a wash of this brilliant yellow over top of everything. And I love what it does for these sunflowers. They just get so vibrant, nice, bright, sunny and in your face. And it's such a beautiful contrast to that bright blue that we have there. And it also just sort of softens a few things. So borders and lines and whatnot don't look quite so harsh. But that yellow just becomes so bright and so vibrant. It's wonderful. So look at that. So we're almost there. 
So we need to add a little bit of texture to our center, a little more texture. I love texture. So I'm going to start with some lamp black and I'm just using the end of my brush handle for this. And all around this outside edge, we're going to add a few little dip dots. And what I love about using the brush handle is that you get nice big dots and then you get tiny little dots. So you get lots of variation when you do this. It's a super easy way to get lots of texture and variation in the shot size and shape of those dots. So just a quick dots in the center. And I like to bring them out to the edge and overlap with the petals. I think it's important that they overlap with the petals. It softens the center. It doesn't look so harsh or hard. And I love lots of dots. I just like the texture of it. Lots of sunflower seeds. So I've got those in. And we're going to do the same thing with some white. Because I like the white. So this is our highlight color. And again, I like the fact that using the brush handle gives me a variety of sizes. So I can have little tiny dots or I have nice big dots. And wherever I have that little wash of yellow is my highlight section. So I can add dots in there like so. And again, don't be afraid to take some of those white dots out over the petals just a little bit. It just helps keep those sunflowers looking nice and soft. So we have our center about complete, I think. I'm happy with that. So we have nice texture on the center of our flowers. And I'm going to dry this and then we're going to add some fun little details to this and it will be done. Now again, this does not have to be done on wood and it doesn't have to be done with acrylic paint either. It can be done on watercolor paper with watercolor, with watercolor markers, with alcohol markers. You can use cardstock, you could use Yupo paper. With your alcohol inks, you can use a wide variety of materials to do this kind of thing with these printables. They're super easy. The design work is all done for you. Even the shading values are already in place. So it's a really simple procedure to get these done. So I am switching over to a liner brush for this and I'm going to grab a little bit of my margarita green, which is that nice bright citron green. And I'm going to quickly stroke in some of these little vines and tendrils that are here, just with a little of that thinned green. And I'm going to stroke in the stems, holding these leaves together like so. And I love doing this. I like this sort of squiggly line around my leaves. It just gives them a nicer shape and it makes them look softer. And we can do this down here to this large leaf as well. So easy peasy. If any time you feel that your leaves are not perhaps not as crisp and clean as you would like, you know what, just a, a nice little soft line tracing them out makes a world of difference. So I'm going to dry this and then we're going to go back to my favorite thing, that black gel pen. I love this thing. It just makes for some fun little details uh, when you're doing stuff like this. And it gives everything such a nice hand-drawn look. So I like just a nice, loose, sketchy line to define some of these shapes, to add, you know, those little details in the centers, all of those things. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it's more interesting if it's not. So all those little design things, you can pull all of that together, those lines in the centers of the petals. just pulls everything together really nicely. And then you can use your favorite 
uh, sentiment stamp or write in your own or paint in your own sentiment. I've provided a few in the printable, mostly um, be thankfuls, but uh, you can also add that little bee design to your tag if you wanted to. These are just such a fun and easy way to jazz these up. So lots of variation in those printables that you can utilize. Change up the color backgrounds. Do whatever you want. There's all kinds of fun ways that you can enhance these simple little printables. If you're looking for them, you can find them on my website at tracymoreau.net, and they're in the free printable section. I'm Tracy Morrow. Thanks for joining me.